Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Empty Giant Gaming. <clears throat> so, for the first time ever, due to my audio being lost, we are doing a voiceover of a video. Around this part originally, I was telling everyone about how afraid I was because uh, there were some pretty high prestiges going into this match, and I wasn't quite sure how my build was going to play against them. Uh, we had a Twitch streamer, too, who, I mean, once again, very much made me afraid. Because I know that I'm not the best. And we were returning back to our roots. This is Road to Pig number five. So, like, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So, we spawned in the Midwitch, which was definitely good for us. I mean, it is the most killer-sided map in the game. However, though, I feel like I get more escapes here as a survivor than probably, arguably, any other map. We started early doing our crouching. We were trying to figure out where everyone was. And very quickly, we came upon these two in here, which was pretty big. The Atom, as you'll see later, ends up becoming kind of the focus of this video and of our chases. This Michaela was really, really good. Like I said, they were the Twitch streamers. So right here early, he did give us the power, which we went ahead and we broke. However, luckily we weren't able, or we didn't lose sight. And I think he got disoriented there because he took himself in the basement. This chase we committed a little too long to, and I'm surprised with some of the hits that we took. I, remember, I think I said in the video here that I was confused because I thought I had gotten a hit on the Atom already before. Which, I mean, clearly we didn't, otherwise we would have seen it. But we take this pallet here. And then we followed him over here. That's right. I want to say we end up... I think we drop Chase on him. Yeah, we do. <clears throat> right there could have been a nice swing. But we immediately went back and we checked that last gen we were at. Because we figured it was probably a bit of a gambit. At least that's what I was thinking at the time. I figured he probably chased off, maybe is uh, swiffing with the Kate, or the Michaela. So we went back and we tried to do that. So then we went back to our crouching, we went back to our looking around. I swear the play-by-play -play was much more interesting whenever it was the real audio during the match. My voiceover doesn't do it justice. <laughs> but yeah, we did some more of our soul searching, so to speak. Right about here, we heard this gem. We dropped down, we saw it had some good progress on it. And so we knew they had to be around. Just not quite where. We saw the blood. Okay, the surveillance is one of the things that came in clutch during throughout this match. Because we actually get an ambush this here. <laughs> Which honestly is so hard. Guys, as much as I love Pig, her power. The bear traps are nice. They make for really good mind games. But does anyone think that there is a worse power in the game? than Pig's Ambush. Because if so, I would love to hear what it is, because I don't think that it's possible that there could be a worse, like, actual killer power than Pig's Ambush. Not only is it not very far, it doesn't have a lot of distance, but you also growl really loudly before you do it, which gives people time to react. And yeah, as you all saw there, while I was rambling about the power, we did get the Adam on hook. He was our first hook. And this Kate, or not the Kate, yeah, is the Kate, wow, immediately goes for the unhook. Which, at the time, I was rather confused by, like, why are you playing it that quickly? And then, in front of my face, she starts to work on a gym. Like, the disrespect, am I right? Like, wow. <laughs> From here... I want to say, yeah, we break away from the Kate. 
because we realized we're not going to find her. I was yaunting something about her possibly having a uh, uh, dance with me, is what I thought, maybe. The Adam, I have no idea. I think he was running plot twist for whatever reason. Because I don't know how he got downed. He wasn't bleeding or anything, but maybe he was, and he just didn't heal, but it was very confusing to me. Because I wasn't running any add-ons that should have done that to him. And I'm not running Sloppy Butcher, so he shouldn't have been bleeding so quickly, so I'm pretty sure he plot twisted. We do get this chain rather quickly. Uh, as you'll see throughout the video, I think this chain may be the one with the least amount of chase experience. We get a solid hit on the Kate which we are running Save the Best for Last, so it did reduce some of our tokens. But I mean, honestly, it was okay. And watch right here, I completely blow this mind game because I missed that swing. So, like, I was over here thinking, like, damn, I've got her. This is great. And I just blew it. And if she had stayed on that side of the map, she would have gotten away from the chase 100%. Because I didn't see her. <clears throat> we do get to pick up on her. And then I want to say, yeah, we do put her in basement, which was pretty big for us. Anytime you can get a basement hook, you know automatically there's a little bit of split up pressure because someone has to walk all the way there, they have to commit their time, and sure, it may not always be the furthest away, but usually it's just enough that it can really start to dissuade things for them. From here on again, we kind of went back into the mode of... Wait a minute. Looking back here, did I just walk right past the Atom? There's no way I did, right? Guys, I think I walked right past the Atom in that corner. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, moving forward. We started to see our blood marks, our blood spots again. And I don't remember who we end up running into up here. There it is. We ran into the Jane again. They take some hits, which I think, once again, this had to have been set up that way. They knew that this Jane probably isn't the best in chase. Honestly, I was surprised. None of them were really, like, super good at chase. I miss swings, but that's only because I'm horrible, which everyone knows by now. But I think it's about this point in the match where we start to see my power play get set up. And you will all see what I mean. We, did get to, we caught the Jane messing with our box. <laughs> Funny. Fun. We did get the Adam 2, so we had a 2 for going right here. Which immediately, we went ahead, we hung the Adam, which was always a pain in the ass. Because he has that boil over. We got the Jane right back on, because we knew, I knew already, the way she was playing, she was scared of the trap. So if she has one on her at all times, she becomes useless. Unfortunately, I didn't need to do this. <clears throat> but we set up another two slug. Which, I wasn't really trying to slug at this point. And then the Adam got down. Which, the Michaela, to her credit, tried to get her to get him back down. I know how that looks. That looks like I'm just straight up slugging. But if I can keep them all in one area at this point in the match, I'm going to do that. They... I point this out later. So Michaela and them all swarmed one area. And I mean, if you have a bunch of flies in one area, you swat at them all. Seems like a really cruel thing to say. And I know I'm... not empty giant gaming, I try to keep things really light. But like, and I've heard a few people talk about my videos and they kind of say like, you know, you say you don't slug, but then you wouldn't slug, or you say you don't tunnel, but you tunnel, 
anytime I do it, if it's on a situation, I always try to avoid it if I can, because I don't like doing it. But like, in this case, it made for... I mean, I practically had to do it in order to win. As we get into this chase with this Kate, I want to say this was another one that, yeah, I caught her right before she got into the pallet. Which, I mentioned a video or two back that my killer settings were, uh, my sensitivity was super, super low at first. It was still at like 50. So I bumped that up to the same settings I use on my survivor, which is 95. And ever since, I've been able to make hits a lot easier. I don't get mind gamed as much, which is really big. And yeah, I should probably mention at this point in the video that we do have two Ks. We managed to get both the Atom out and the Kate. And so, right here, I go on to talk about it's what I consider to be a win in the game. And I mentioned that none of the gens seem to have I consider two Ks much progress to kind of be on the them. draw. At this point, you know, there's still two of them. And Jane is gonna have to spend time well, on a I've box. Only made half the field, so half the credit. The only question is can we get the right I one? I do however mention that I think at times a two K is just as good as a win. Not there for, is a gen like, being worked on though. I mean obviously it's not but, but I'm pretty sure that that's a killer. You wanna at least have done half your job. That's how I always feel about it. Our Twitch here I made a friend. really dumb double back because I was trying to see if she was over here by the Twitch cell box, which I mean, she was not. And then, going forward, we dropped back down, we went back to searching the ground, and a little uneventful for a minute. We go back to monitoring, we see that one of our gems is in the So we immediately start looking for scratch marks, which we did find. And then we found our right now, this is probably the one. But this Michaela gave me work in this game. And you'll see what I mean by that. She did take the double back there, which was awesome. I always love when I can do little things like that. It gets in their head, and it kind of gets in my head. A little bit of an ego inflator, not gonna lie. But honestly, I will tell you all this. <clears throat> Sometimes whenever you play killer, you have to put yourself in that mindset of I'm in control. If you don't, then you start to let the match slip from you. You start to doubt yourself, doubt your ability. I do this a lot when I play. But if you keep telling yourself that you are the one in control, you run the show, more times than not, you can kind of will it. That was another carry that I was afraid we weren't going to reach because we had the uh, boil okay, over good. Good, 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 going good. on. So from here, I was thinking to myself, I just have to find the Jane and check it out. As soon as I turn around, boom, Jane. So we get the swing on her. Okay. And this is where stuff starts to get a little crazy. Let's save the best. So we do, thanks to save the best for last, <clears throat> we got the Jane. And I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew right here, right now, if I didn't get this Kate, or this Michaela, that he was over. So thankfully again, we caught her before she could grab her pallet. We put a trap on, just for the points at this point. We do get her on hook, which luckily there was one plus five. I don't know, there's nothing I hate more like as a killer than Boyle over. And I finally understand, as a survivor main for well, as long as I've played, I always hear people complain about Boil Over and my friends that play Killer, and I'm like, it can't be that bad. Man. My god, is it annoying. You almost have to run Iron Grasp at times. Uh, here I was looking for the chain because I was stupid, and I ignored the grunting that I could very audibly hear, which was right over here. And so... Yeah, looking back, if there's one thing I would have Hi, to work on as a killer, it'd be... Okay guys, assuming we better, make it to the slope, which I don't see why we wouldn't. I just listen, I mean, kind of better. We but just I got ourselves open. a Road to Pig 4K on um, the channel. That could give me more victory. Give them a little crouch. The yeah. Then we so right run here, off we have to do a bit of a stunt, you know, 
break out the ambush, so who we are. Do some big crouches. This was an extremely fun match, guys. I it's always fun. Honestly surprised. Like I said, they had some decent prestigious there. From here, we secured our It looked like some of them were kind of swiffing the way they were coordinating. Um, I believe I rated this match for myself an 8 out of 10. We actually got the win. Better, but overall, it was a 4K. I talked for a minute about my grade progress and how this was the first grade time ever that I Grade progress error, but which I mean, all four areas. Y'all see the GPE. I think for the first time ever as killer, I've reached silver. And so I went over here and That's I explained go up. that... I gave myself the giant player of the game because yeah, I got oh 4K. Man. This was a really, but I also went really and gave fun major match. Props. What I'm I gonna start doing this, is uh, I want to say matches. I gave you know, I give myself the giant player the giant of the match. Player of the game for the survivors. Just because I feel like it's earned. Because she just she balled out. But we're gonna do the both Jane, awards for both teams player. as well. Just because it didn't seem like, so she like was in this the case, the giant player of the match was the Kate. I was familiar with some of this. I was actually intimidated by her. I had to. Do some things. A lot of the things I had to get around the match. Very questionable to me in a lot of the movements that she Our made. empty player. Plus, she played really scared on the <sighs> My goodness, they all so honestly played, played pretty fire. But maybe this Jane, just for and I kind of situational went awareness, I, I talked guess. about some of their builds and how my build played off uh, of it. If I had to I sum up this match, the made I would give this on one probably an eight out of ten. Was kind of like maybe a nine, just, just because we were able to keep pressure off them or on them the entire time. They didn't the pop Adam a gen. Talked about kind of suffered from they the kept making silly mistakes. Event, we had that one corner was, set up of hooks where they were so close. The in the match. And since they kept coming into Which the room, I mean, like going after one another, very, very unfortunate. I was able to slug pretty freely. And like, had a very solid build. And the I didn't had a try to go build. after everyone and slug them. I mean, you all saw that. Overall, like if I they said, came in and they were swarming me, like, yeah, we went for it because, I mean, they were right there. Just because I've been so busy. At most, I tried to never have more than two. So you know, I, I think my, we got to three at some point. Nightmare, but like I said, they kept making silly so mistakes coming at me. Been a minute or two since we've done this. So we did what we had to do. So I think right about here, I kind of talked but, uh, about other than that. Add I don't think they played the ending too much there of a role in this match. Was pretty good. I think better. we got a lot of value out of saving I the last for last. I ran both of those that would. Uh, Which what are your guys' thoughts on this perk? I'm hearing a lot of people only about it nowadays. And to fruition like, once with that chain. I feel like it's rather fair, especially on weak killers. Like the pig is probably one of the weakest I killers in the game. So like the giving them and I was also a faster M1 well, seems like a fair what trade off. Think of the considering their power is so niche. Because I mentioned that pig is very, very comparing it to how it chase. played up against some of these builds. I mean, not in chase, but in terms I think of power. that it did a so huge like, role in made for this, or against her made for this. And for a minute, let's see with the. I talked about how Pig's ambush. Actually, the Jane was the only one that ran like, it. Clearly, the worst killer power. The Adam, the I think, game. suffered from Deliverance Curse. I'm, I want to say he was I, the first one I hooked this it. match. I, I'm sorry. The bear traps are cool. So that's always but unfortunate. Ambush. Is just, but oh, yeah, God. our add ons, it's so, it's I don't think they in my opinion. played too much. Of a role. We didn't get anyone at the box. Well, the we growl. got the Jane and then near like a no box. So maybe that did play a part. But Other than overall, that, loss of value from Jolt, we surveillance. We didn't have to use no ed, which honestly I'm thankful for. It's kind of my. If all shit goes wrong, at least give me one kill in the match. But. Yeah. That is going to do it for today's episode of Road to Pig. I'm Empty Giant Gaming. Thank you all for watching. Peace and love, and I can't wait for our next episode.